As the Midlothian Independent School District continues to manage our growth, our district values that when we partner with our community to serve our students, we are always better together. With this deep-rooted part of our culture, you can see how our district is purposeful in engaging our community. Nothing is more evident of this belief than the MISD Zoning Community Committee process. In October, our district sought recommendations and nominations from the entire community to serve on the Zoning Committee. In December and through a lottery process, community members were selected. The Zoning Committee has been tasked with developing a proposal of new school boundaries as the district begins to build Elementary 8 located near 14th Street and Hawkins Run and the expansion of Heritage High School. Additionally, as the committee looked at school zones for these two schools, it also took the opportunity to look at school zones in a holistic manner. The proposed zones will go into effect for the 2022-23 school year. The committee has been developing school boundaries that follow the Board of Trustees charge to balance campus enrollment across the district, keep neighborhoods and or subdivisions intact, leverage natural boundaries as much as possible, follow and or recommend district policy and grandfathering options. In an effort to develop sound boundaries, the committee has been studying enrollment projections and student populations pre-COVID-19 and possibilities post-COVID-19. Understanding systems impacted by boundaries, including transportation systems and special program needs. Reviewing programs to allow students across the district to have the most opportunities to participate in programs that foster positive campus cultures and morale, as well as pride in Midlothian ISD. With these parameters in mind, the proposed boundaries are reflected on these maps. We believe these proposed boundaries provide the best environment for the whole child while preparing for academic success along with opportunities for personal growth and well-being. For elementary, this map adjusts our elementary school boundaries to include our newest elementary school, which opens in the fall of 2022. With this new elementary school, we are able to meet capacity challenges for the next six years. For an elementary child entering kindergarten in fall 2022, this helps our students to remain with their peers while in elementary school. We hope this minimizes transitions for our youngest learners while providing smaller classrooms and many opportunities for personalized connection with teachers and friends. Elementary number eight is funded by our voter approved bond 2016 that focused on managing student growth. For middle school, the committee took a hard look at how to best balance all of our middle schools. With the challenges of having one middle school at capacity and soon over capacity in the coming years, the need to make adjustments was necessary. After listening to teachers and campus leaders, the committee took action to help provide relief to the challenges for an at capacity or nearing capacity campus when the other two middle schools have room for the next six years. This modification provides balance and student opportunities. Dietrich Middle School, which opened last year and has room, was also funded by our voter approved 2016 bond program. Our Heritage High School expansion, known as phase two, provides a balanced enrollment for both Midlothian and Heritage High Schools. With this expansion, our high school zones are tweaked, allowing both campuses room for growth, additional student opportunities in multiple courses and programs, as well as continuing a strong competitive edge in and out of the University Interscholastic League. As a part of our zoning process, our community committee is asking for your input at any time please feel free to email your thoughts or ask questions at zoning at misd.gs. To ask your questions in person, please join us at our reservation only appointment opportunity on Thursday, March 4th. Please visit www.misd.gs to reserve a time that best fits your schedule for the lunchtime or dinnertime opportunity. 
The reservation only opportunity is to ensure our district follows all the appropriate capacity and COVID-19 restrictions. To ask your questions and provide input virtually, we will host a thought exchange on Wednesday, March 3rd at 12.15 p.m. and 6 p.m. This allows you to provide input in a simple and convenient way. If these options don't fit your schedule, please take a minute to visit our website at www.misd.gs and click on Boundary Poll. You can quickly provide your input. After community input opportunities, our committee will review all suggestions to determine if changes should be made to the zoning recommendation. Our goal is to fulfill our charge as set by the Board of Trustees and meet the needs of our MISD community. We will bring our final recommendation to the Board of Trustees during the March or April board meeting. We anticipate the board will take action on the school boundaries at either the April or May board meeting. Again, these boundary changes would go into effect for the 2022-23 school year and we'll have grandfathering options based on our district policy. To learn more about MISD's zoning process, including a list of our most popular questions and answers, please visit www.misd.gs slash zoning. We hope you find this site helpful. We realize zoning can cause worry and concern. While we have to manage growth and new schools are opening, the best news is that no matter where you reside, your child attends Midlothian ISD schools, one of the premier districts in Texas and the nation. This is why, at the heart of everything, we are MISD proud.